damn it, why are they all naked? Hello everyone, it is Wazza here from Two Old Gamers, and today we're going to be talking about mods for The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, or more specifically, my four favourite mods that are available to us at the moment. So the first mod I'm going to be talking about is Suite FX, and it is essentially a graphical tweaking tool, and it has lots of different options and lots of customizability. And although it's easy to install, it can be daunting at first if you want to change any of the graphics parameters, because it's essentially a text document and it has just a long list of all these different parameters that you can edit. But the good thing is that it's 2015 and we have the internet. So it's really simple, you just go onto the Nexus forums or you can even go onto the SweetFX site itself and you can just download various different tables that people have pre-made for you. You copy and paste it into the SweetFX folder and then it will just load automatically when you run the game. So there's no hassle of messing around with all these tables. But if you want to, I'll make another tutorial on that in a different video. But for now, let's get on with the installation. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Google SweetFX. Once you've done that, you want to click on the top link in Google, which is SweetFX Settings Database. And then navigate to the Downloads tab and click the top download, which is SweetFX 2.0. So you want to download that. And once you've downloaded that, it will be in a zip file. So just make sure you have WinRAR or another program like that you can open it with. Um, I've already downloaded it and it's just on my desktop here. And you'll have all these files. And you're going to want to run the reshade setup.exe and then it's going to ask you to select the game. You're going to need to select your witcher.exe which will be under GOG Games, Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Bin and then x64. And then you just need to select your witcher3.exe. As you can see I've already installed it here but I'll go through the process for you guys again just so you know what to do. So go ahead and click open because I've already done it. It's given me this so I'm going to overwrite it. And because I had auto detect on it's automatically detected which version of DirectX I need and it's giving me DirectX 3D 10 slash 11. Now when you run the game, SweetFX should be installed and we'll be able to tell in just a second. And there we go, you can see in the top left hand corner there, it's given that little message and it says compiling effect succeeded, which means that it's successfully installed. Now it's installed, we need to add some kind of preset. So the preset that I'm going to show you guys is one of my favourites and it's a thousand times better version 2.1 and to download that you need to navigate to the Nexus mod forums, search for the Witcher 3 section and then click on files and then top files and then scroll down and you should find it and it's number 14 there. So click on that and you'll need an account again to download it. The version that I downloaded was a thousand times better 2.1 full and that just gives you all of the effects and nice stuff so you download it manually and it comes in a zip file again i've already downloaded it so i won't bother downloading it again and i've extracted it to my desktop here so what you want to do is select all the files copy them and then paste them in to your gog games installation witcher 3 the wild hunt bin x64 and then just paste them all in there and then replace all the files in the destination. I've already done it so I'm just going to skip these. And then there you go, that should be your new preset installed. And I've got a little bit of video here and it will show you a comparison between the original and then now the thousand times better. You should be able to see the difference. The thousand times better's colours are more realistic, they're not quite as vibrant and as in your face as the originals are. And in my opinion it looks a lot better. So the next mod I want to talk about is called the Debug Console Enabler and essentially this allows you to enter strings of text whilst you're playing the game and that will cause various events to happen such as spawning in NPCs, changing your character's stats, you can even teleport around the map if you want to. Another cool feature is the free camera mode and that allows you to detach the camera from your main character and fly around the map as if you were a bird and it looks really cool and it's great for doing cinematic shots and things like that. In fact, Gizmo, who co-runs this channel with me, has recently done six hours worth of footage using this and condensed it all into about three minutes worth of time-lapse footage, and it looks really great, so I recommend to go and watch that. But anywho, let's get on with the installation. So first you want to navigate to the Nexus Mods page, and I'll leave a link in the description for all of the mods that I'm using today. Um, you have to have an account to sign in and download, so make sure you've got one of those. 
Anyway, once you've downloaded it, it'll be in a zip format, so make sure you've got something to open that I personally use WinRAR. In there, there'll be three files, and all you want to do, it's really simple, just copy and paste them all into the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and you want to click on bin x64, and then you just copy them all in there, and then that's it installed. Simple as that. And then to enable it in game, it's really simple. Once your game started and you're actually playing, you hit F2 and it'll bring down a box halfway from your screen with a little arrow. And then from there, you can type any strings of text. And again, I'll leave a link in the description for a bunch of different commands you can type in. But in this video, let's spawn in an ice giant and see how that goes. So I just hit F2, brings down the box and just quite simple, just type in spawn open brackets, ice giant, close brackets, and then hit return. And boom, there you can see, I've got a freaking ice giant. Right, so let's see how this fight goes. I'm pretty sure it's not going to go very well. Yeah, already most of my health gone, and I'm dead. But holy shit, guys, that is awesome. And as I mentioned earlier, this mod also comes with a free camera mod. So once you're in game, you just simply hit F1 like this, and look, you just, like first put, oh shit, under the ground. Um, let's go up. Yeah, there we go. So you can fly around um, like a bird and, you know, it's pretty cool. You can just zoom around the map and see whatever you want to do. And as I mentioned earlier, Gizmo made a video using this mod and he recorded six hours worth of footage, slowly moving across some mountains and some other beautiful scenery. But for now, let's move on to the next mod. The next mod I want to talk about is called Extreme Weather Conditions and this adds some really nice atmospheric effects to the game with really nice thunderstorms and big rain clouds and really cool stuff like that. The good thing about this mod is what it adds to the game doesn't really distract you from how the original game was meant to be. It just adds a nice atmospheric touch without making it seem like you've modded it beyond repair. So let's get into the installation. First you want to visit the Nexus Mods Forum and I'll leave a link in the description for all of these mods. You want to go ahead and click download manually and it will download it in a little zip file for you. Now I've already downloaded this and I've extracted it to my desktop and the installation is really easy. So once you've extracted it, you open up the folder and you want to copy and paste all the files in there to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt content, content zero and then bundles. So just copy it all into that folder and then once it's all in that folder, you need to install it. Now to install it, you have to run the install extreme weather dot bat file. And sometimes when you run that, it will ask you if you want to skip or force another file that needs to be imported. And all you need to do if it does that is just type force and then hit enter. And then it's simple as that, that's you installed. Then when you run the game next, you'll have the extreme weather. Now, the weather isn't always on, it just happens sometimes, as if normal weather in the, in the Witcher would. Okay, so the last mod I'm going to be talking about is the over 9,000 weight limit mod. And this is just a neat little mod which increases your carry capacity. And again, as always, the installation is super easy. So to download it, you just visit the Nexus Mods forum, and I'll leave a link in the description for this one as well. And download manually, and again, another little zip file. So to install it, you just open up your zip file, copy the entire contents, to the Witcher 3 content patch zero and bundles and then once you're there you can run one of the three bat files and they are 30 120 or 999 and for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and run the 999 and that's it installed and then the next time you run the game your carry capacity should be over 9000 so let's just check that and you can check it really easily just by opening up your inventory and seeing your carry capacity. And there you can see it's 10,029, so you can tell the mods worked. And that's about it for this video, guys. If you want any other installation tutorial videos, feel free to add a comment and I'll see what I can do. But until next time, I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting. And if you liked it, please give it a like because it helps us out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, guys.